Hey there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey, and in this video I wanted to show you the Puck Sock from HockeyShot.com. Now the Puck Sock, it's a little bit of a unique hockey training aid, a little bit different. I didn't totally know what to expect from it when I first uh, kind of took a look at it. Um, but what it is, it's a way to uh, put a stick weight on the bottom of your stick. So obviously with a weighted stick, you're going to be working on your shot or your passing, it's gonna be strengthening your wrists and getting you used to the feel of a heavier uh, stick or puck. And uh, you know, then when you go back to regular, you're gonna feel like you have more power. It uh, you know, strengthens your wrists and forearms, gets you used to firing with, with, uh, with a increased load. So what you do is you got these pockets and um, each side has a pocket and the pocket can fit, sorry, I'm not showing you this very well. The pocket can fit up to three pucks inside it. So I've got two pucks on this side already and uh, I'll just take the puck and as you can see it just slides right in the pocket there. That's where the weight comes from. So this is really light to carry around with you. You want to keep it in your bag or whatever and then uh, just load, up, load it up with a couple pucks, however many pucks you want to make it the weight you want and then as you can see it, it adds that weight load. All right, I changed up the camera angle. Just uh, I thought it might be a little bit easier to show you guys exactly what we're looking at. So, um, like I said, there's two ways of using this. The first one is actually putting the puck sock on the blade of your stick. Now, if you want to use it that way, what you do is uh, you go and basically you put the the butt end of your stick into the open end of the puck sock. Make sure the other end of the butt end comes through the ring, just like that. And then, as you can see, it slides all the way down, and the ring is what is going to keep it from falling off the bottom of your stick. Okay, so um, then all you do is take the zipper, zip it up. Remember we've already got our four pucks in here. So that's going to be about the weight of four pucks. Is that about 24 ounces? My math is right. Math, math under pressure has never been my strong suit. But um, then you take and strap it in just like this and now that's not going anywhere. So you might be wondering, you know, why would I want this on the blade of my stick? And uh, to be honest with you, I was kind of wondering the same thing. The idea behind this is you can just, you know, kind of mimic stick handling and work on your wrist strength, work on the uh, motion of a shot, okay? And it's kind of just, you know, I mean, a nice little way to warm up your wrists, get a little bit of wrist strength activity in. But, uh, you know, to tell you the truth, I actually, I, I don't think there's any reason really to use it on the blade of your stick. I think if you're going to use it, you might as well put it on the, the bottom of the shaft. That's the other way that you can use this. And then you can do all pretty much the same drills, except you can do them with a puck or while passing or while shooting. And um, you know, I think it's a little bit more worthwhile. So let's take it off. Let's take it off. Just It's the reverse order of what we just did. Unstrap it, unzip it, and then let it come down. Now to put it on to put on the bottom of your shaft, it's the exact same thing, except instead of coming in from the open end, we're just gonna change it and come in from, let me see, make sure I'm showing you guys, come in from the ring end. So put the butt end right through the ring and then let it drop down. And again, that ring is what's gonna keep it from going right down onto your shaft when you've got the product uh, set up. So what we're gonna do is throw it down, zip it up, Go ahead and strap it in. I'm gonna slide these pucks down a tiny bit. Actually, sorry, no, we're right, we're good. The, uh, the bottom strap, the strap that's near the opening of the, of the puck pockets, that's where you wanna make sure you clamp that down so your pucks aren't gonna be sliding out while you're using it. But we clamp that down and then we're good to go there. So that's not going anywhere. It's good, solid, it's not gonna come, come down onto your stick. And then, uh, you know, from there, like I said, you can use this in, uh, you know, legitimate puck handling drills. Puts a lot of weight on that bottom of that stick for you and uh, makes it a much different experience. So what I wanna do now is just cut real quick. We'll show you what this looks like in action and then uh, we'll call it a day. Okay, so the first obvious application for this is, uh, you know, just basic stick handling. It's a much different feel, I'll tell you that much. A um, lot heavier. So don't expect to be uh, lightning quick hands on any of these stick handling drills, but you know, I can already feel it burning my wrists. So um, you know, wrists and forearms, really good for strengthening that. Uh, if you want to, you can start working on passing as well. I've got a pass master. Might be hard to see on the video, but we've got the pass master set up right here. And uh, so we can do a little bit of passing with it. 
little cushion sweep, same concept. Doing the same motions, just with an added weight load. And, uh, you know, just makes it harder. And again, feeling it in, uh, in my forearms already. And then, once again, if you want to, you can work on your shots with this as well. So uh, we've got the Ricochet uh, hockey training, or sorry, Ricochet uh, tar targeting system there. So we'll take a couple shots there. Goalie gloved me. Getting it up in those upper corners is tough with this, I'll tell you that much. There we go. You really gotta bear down and focus. So that's tough. So anyways, again, that's the idea. Um, you got your puck sock on there, and then uh, once you're you know, ready to take it off, then you know, regular puck's gonna feel like uh, you know, featherweight. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to, uh, to rip them a little bit harder. So that's your puck sock. Um, great product for the price range, definitely does what it claims to do. And uh, you can pick these up at HockeyShot.com. Make sure you visit the link in the description to pick up your coupon code and save some money off your order.